hello everyone today we will see the class a to b conversion in katia surfacing so first of all what is mean by class a class b and class c surface so i will explain you so the class a surface is the term used in automobile design to describe a set of free form surfaces of high efficiency and quality so it is the surface having high efficiency and quality and it is designed with by the industrial stylers again so here it is the, the class a surface can be defined as any surface that is having a styling intent that is either seen touch or both so the application for this is the automotive application that means everything in the interior cabin and all the exterior excluding the underbody so excluding the underbody and the interior and the exterior is having the a surface class a surface so again here this is can this can also include the beauty covers in the engine comp compartment as well as the trunk panels and the carpeting okay so this is the class a surface the it is just for the aesthetic look we use this class surface the second is the class b surface basically this class b surface is a mechanical surface so all these the details having the mountings and the reinforcement detail are located on this b surface so for example you can see the mobile back cover if you open this back cover the inside surface inside that is the um, inside this panel you can see the mountings and reinforcement details for this various locks you can see that from the, on the inner inner side of this panel inner side of the back panel so this is the class b surface and it is defined the thickness of the part so we use this class b surface to define the thickness of the part the third is the c class surface so the c class is used for joining these two surfaces that is class a and class b surface we can join with this class c surface so now we will see how to convert this class a surface into class b surface in katia so now we directly go to this shape design now i don't have any class a surface here i will just create one surface and convert that surface into class b and class c okay so now i will create geometry here so just create a circle so let's say it is having a diameter of 50 mm i'll create another circle here i'll just show you how to convert the surface into b class b surface that is how, how to provide a thickness for that so the second i will provide here let's say it is 120 mm again i will provide a distance between this let's say it is 100 mm now i will create another circle here i will draw it here again another one i will draw it here and this is now tangent to this so just again i will create a tangency here to provide a dimension to this we provide 170 and we can provide one pt here similarly provide the same parameters for this 180 and create a constraint between these two circle tangency similarly between these two circles tangency now i will create one line here just approximately i will create this line and trim this 
just provide a round here with the corner options just select the corner and provide a rounds now erase this double click and then erase this one erase this erase this I will change this dimension here let's say it is 140 so it is 180 so just provide 120 mm just provide this I will keep this as it is okay so now I will exit the workbench now extrude the surface so near extent I will again select this then I will keep this near extent and then exit the workbench Now I will first fill this surface here. Now use a shape fillet. Select this face. Select another one. So I will just not fill this. I will create one another surface here. So just I will sketch on this plane. Create one surface here and now exit this, just fill the surface. Now I will use a shape fillet here, just select this surface, change the direction, select this surface, and now you can see preview, just change this radius here. Again. and then go ok so now I will use this surface as a class A surface so I will save this first now I will save this select IGS and give the name class A just save this now I will close this now open now select this class A surface and open that so now I will hide this Sketch, hide this sketch. Now I will insert geometrical sets. Let's give a name that is class A. Then click OK. I will again add geometrical set, give a name that is class B. OK, and again I will again add another geometrical set that is a class. C surface. So now now I will just copy this press shift and select in between and then select copy and then I will paste it on this class surface. Now I will hide this geometrical set now I will use this class A, class A, class B and class C surface so now to create a class B surface we need to add a thickness so we use this class B to add a thickness that means we, we have to add a thickness for this 
part so we will first define work object for this geometrical set now and use this offset command so if we just select this uh, surface this surface is selected this surface is only selected so we need to join these surfaces first so just go to join option and then select this surfaces with a again with a shift option we can select this just shift and select all this and then create ok so now you can select this as a whole surface ok so again to add the op thickness just select the offset select the surface and now every time you need to add a thickness inside of this that is below this a surface so if i add 2 mm thickness so it will be added outside you cannot add this this thickness outside so just i will add a minus sign here and you can show that the thickness will be provided inside of this so again i will modify this let's say it is minus 3 mm so you can add this so this is the class b surface is nothing but adding a thickness to this class a surface now i will go define work of it for the class c surface so class c surface is nothing but the joining of this class a surface and class b surface so again to join this class c surface so now we use the class c surface here so just defining work object first class c surface now we need to join these two surfaces so we can join this with the sweep command or you can use a blend also you can use a multi section also so now i will use the sweep command here so first you need to extract the boundary of this surface so from the boundary command you can i will just extract this boundary with a tangent continuity we i extract this boundary now i will create one line here with the wireframe toolbar just select this point 1 on this boundary and select a point 2 on this and now create a line there now using the sweep command go to the sweep select a profile here and select a guide curve and see the preview so in this way the thickness is added here so this is a class c class c surface now we need to add this class a surface class b surface and class c surface we need to join these surfaces so again i will insert one geometrical set here and i will give a name that is main body and then click okay so now again i will join this surfaces to this body so now again with a join command just first define a work object for this main body and then sorry i will the generative shape design so just select a join command then from this so this join is a, a class a surface here now the this is a class b surface and third one select this sweep so you don't need to you should not select this boundary so make sure that only the surface is selected and then click okay so in the main body again you can see the join command here okay so now you need to provide a thickness in the part design just go to the mechanical design part design and with this command that is with the close surface just select the object to 
provide a closed surface so this is a closed surface you provide and just select ok so now this closed surface is added in this now if you try to see a section view of this then just i will show a, see a dynamic section and you can see that the thickness is added to this part so now this is a having a thickness okay so in this close this so in this way from the class a surface you can design a class b surface and class c surface again all the mountings on the surface comes under this part comes on the b surface we'll just hide this part now our part is completed so in this way we can use this class surface to class b conversion with the c surface please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them so thank you thank you for watching